Hello and welcome to iBoomerang Training 102. Today's training will cover our Email Marketing Plus tool, which also features text messaging, our autoresponder, and some other marketing tools. The Email Marketing Plus tool will save you the time and effort it takes to create email marketing campaigns through recurring email templates. You can customize your own templates or choose from the pre-created ones provided by iBoomerang. You can also set up a series of emails that can be scheduled to send automatically on the dates and intervals of your choosing. Every template and series can be organized into subgroups, making it easy to find the templates you need right away. It's also easy to import contacts from an Excel document and organize them into specific lists. You can launch targeted email marketing campaigns to large online audiences with our volume marketing add-on. Our text messaging add-on helps you keep your customers up to date with appointment reminders, application status updates, new products or services, and exclusive offers. Customers can easily opt in or opt out of your text messaging stream to keep subscriber satisfaction high. You can also choose to send your text messages right away or schedule them for the future. Both our email and text messaging system come with the autoresponder, which allows you to create canned responses that will send automatically when a customer does a certain action, like signs up for text alerts. We also provide you with a unique referral link that you can use across your marketing efforts. And we also have a free built-in QR code generator that you can add to your printed marketing materials. We'll talk more in depth about all of these features shortly. We're first going to go over the parts of the Email Marketing Plus tool and the basics of creating and sending an email template. To get started, log in to my.iboomerang.com. Select the Email Marketing Plus tool by either choosing it from the My Tool Set drop-down menu or in the My Tool Set area on the page. This is the dashboard of the Email Marketing Plus tool. You can see sections and tabs for, e for sending emails, creating email templates, setting up drip marketing series, managing email contacts, viewing your history, and setting up your profile, which is the section we're going to start with. To begin editing your profile, click on Edit Profile in the My Profile area, or select the Sender Info tab at the top. Fill out as much of this information as possible. The information that you provide can be easily added into your email templates and email signature. Be sure to upload a professional picture of yourself and include your most recent contact information. You can also add links to your social media profiles by clicking on Manage Social Media. This will open up the Social Media Manager where you can paste the direct links to your social profiles. Click Save when you're done. After you've entered your information and social media links, scroll down the page to edit your email signature. You can use the Field button to bring in the information you submitted above. Click Preview to see how your signature will look in your emails. When you're done making changes, click Save Signature. Next, I'm going to go over how to send an email. To get there, click on the Email Marketing tab or the Send Email Series button. The process of sending an email is really simple. First, choose whether you are sending a single template or a series. Then select the template or series from the drop-down menu. iBoomerang has already built some templates for you. We'll discuss how to create your own templates in a little while. The next step is to choose whether you are sending the email to an individual person or a contact list. If you choose individual, fill out the name and email of the person. If you're sending to a list, select the list from the drop-down menu. We'll discuss creating lists soon. You also want to make sure you, can, you check the subject line of the email. Step 3 is for if you need to attach a file to send along with your template. To do so, click Attach a File and choose the file from your computer. Finally, you're ready to send your email. You can send it immediately by clicking the Send Email button, or you can schedule it for future delivery by checking the box next to Schedule Email for Later, and then choosing the date and time. To create or edit an email template, select the Manage Templates button. If you want to edit an already existing template, select the group the template is located in, and then select the template. Make your changes, and then click Save. To create a new template, mark the radio button beside New Template, enter in the template name subject, then you'll want to add a banner. To do this, select Manage Banners. You can upload your own custom banners or choose from some that we've made for you. Once you've made your selection, you click Use Selected Image. 
Your banner will appear in the template area. Fill in the rest of your content and then click Save. You can now click on the Send Email button to send your newly created email template. Setting up a drip marketing campaign can save you time. To get there, click on Manage Series, then click on Create New. You will then be prompted to name your series and add your templates. You can choose which number of day, week, month, or even year to send your email. To add more templates to your series, click the Add New Template button and follow the same process. You will see your scheduled templates populate in the main area. You can then send your drip marketing campaign by clicking the Send Series button at the bottom or going back to the Send Email button. The final area of the email marketing is the Manage List section. This is where you can put together large email lists so you don't have to type in email addresses over and over again. Before I discuss how to create and send to a list using the Volume Marketing add-on, I want to make sure you're aware that we have a strict no spamming policy. Please do not send out templates to individuals who do not know who you are. This can lead to email service providers marking the email and our IP addresses as spam and in turn not allowing any customer by Boomerang to be able to send to that email provider. If enough people mark an email as spam, then any emails coming from that server will either be blocked or sent directly to the spam box. So in a nutshell, please be sure to send emails to only clients that know you are sending them something. If you have an Excel document of contacts that you would like to import, you can do so by clicking the Import List button. You can then choose to add your contacts to an already existing list or create a brand new list. You also have the option of adding them to your contacts. There is also an example template that you can download to make sure your information imports correctly. We recommend that you use Microsoft Excel since it's fairly universal and easy to work with. Other than that, you can use any program that can create a comma-separated values file, or CSV. In the first row, you want to label the first column name and the second column email. These labels must be in the document in order for the file to import into the marketing tool successfully. Then all you need to do is simply type the full name and email address of all the recipients in the subsequent rows. When you have entered all the names and email addresses you want to import, you want to save your document. Be sure to give it a name that is specific to the list you have created and save it in a location that you will be able to find easily when you import the file. Now before you hit save, make sure that you have selected CSV in the save as, save as type box. Once that is done, go ahead and save it. Once your list is populated, click the Save or Update List button. You're now ready to send an email template to a contact list. Now let's move on to the text messaging add-on. To set up a text message, click on the Send Text button or the Text Marketing tab. The text marketing area displays your text marketing list, text message usage, and a box to compose a text message. Before you can send a text message, your client needs to opt in to receive your texts. Fortunately, sending an opt-in request is really easy. First, click on the opt-in request button. Enter in your client's information and then click Save. You can view your pending opt-ins by clicking the View Pending Opt-ins button. This will show you the dates that you send the opt-in requests. We recommend sending a request no more than three times. After people opt in to your text, their information will be displayed in the box at the left. When you want to send a text message, simply select the person by clicking on the check box beside their name and enter in your message in the box at the right. You can then choose to send the text immediately or schedule the text to send at a later time. As with the email marketing area, you can set up text marketing lists. Simply enter a list name, select the people you want to include on it, and then click Save List at the bottom. You can also save messages so you don't have to retype them in the future. To create and view your canned messages, click on Add Canned Response. To choose an already saved message, just click the Add to Message button. To create a new canned response, enter the message in the box at the bottom and then click Save. The last feature of the text messaging area is this button which allows you to add your referral link right into the message. Now let's move on to the referral link. 
To get to the referral link, click on the My Referral Area button on the dashboard. This will take you to two tabs. The first tab is where you can locate your link. To get the link into your email, simply highlight the link and then log into your email template tool. Click on Send a Template. This is a, there is a referral template that you can select out of the drop-down box. Once the template loads, you will be able to paste the link into the email and then click on Send. Once the client receives the email, this is the form they will see. All they do is fill out the form with their information and then the information of who they are referring and then click on Submit. The second tab is where you can review your referrals. You'll be able to see the information on the people who were referred. Now let's talk about the autoresponder. The autoresponder panel is here to make your life more simplified. With the autoresponder panel, you can have email templates sent out automatically to your lead so you are making first contact with the lead. This tool will also send the lead into your contact management tool. To get there, click on the My Autoresponder Panel button. The welcome screen explains how the autoresponder works. To get started, click the Getting Started tab. This area will walk you through the four steps of setting up the autoresponder. First, you need to connect your marketing tools. Then you need to prepare the email templates that you plan to use. Step three is to contact your lead source with the special email address provided. If you do not give them this email address, your leads are not going to come into the autoresponder panel. From there, all you need to do is add a new lead source and then assign the templates to your leads. To review a list of compatible lead vendors, click on the drop down box under the lead source box. And to view your leads, click on the My Leads tab. Leads will automatically go into your contact management tool when your account is connected in the autoresponder panel. The contact management tool is an online database for you to keep your clients information in. To log into your contact management tool, simply go to your iBoomerang back office and under the My Tool Set area, click on Contact Management Tool. You will then be prompted to log in. Your username and password are the same ones that you use to log into the iBoomerang back office. This is a screenshot of what the leads page looks like. Anytime you put in a lead, it will be listed here. You can click on that lead and it will take you to their information. The contact management tool will be covered in the 103 training, but I wanted to mention how it works together with the autoresponder. Another feature of the Email Marketing Plus tool is our free QR code generator. A QR code is a digital marker that quickly sends a mobile user to a website, web page, social media profile, or another location on the internet. These can be very fast and effective ways to connect with clients and help them get the information they need. To get to the generator, go to your back office and click on New Client Opt-in Form under Email Marketing Plus. Click on the QR Code Creation tab and follow the instructions. Enter the web address that you want your QR code to point to and click Generate. Then download your marker to your computer and use it on all of your print marketing materials such as business cards and flyers. The final section of the Email Marketing Plus tool is where you can view your history. To get to the reports, click on the History tab at the top. The History tab displays your sent emails, pending emails, sent texts, and scheduled texts. You can cycle through the options by choosing from the drop-down menu. Each report displays the date and time the email or text was sent or is scheduled to be delivered, the person or contact list, the message or subject, and the number of views. Utilize this information to figure out which emails and text messages are the most effective and then send more of those types of messages. This completes today's training session. Here is what you should know. You should know how to update your profile information and customize your email signature, create and send an email template, set up a drip marketing campaign, and import email marketing lists. You should know how to send opt-in requests and text messages, create text marketing lists, and create canned responses. You should know where to find your referral link, how to add leads to the autoresponder, how to generate a QR code, and where to view your email and text. And that concludes iBoomerang 102 training. If you're a USABG agent, be sure to enter this code into your trainings tab in your control panel to get credit for the session. And if you have any questions or ever need assistance, please don't hesitate to give us a call. And remember, you can always rewatch a session if you like.